36 Lion Football Club is a full-fledged professional football club located in Lagos State, Nigeria. Established in the year 2000, the club is focused on developing youth in football and helping them become a better version of themselves. Over the years, the club has produced some excellent young footballers who have gone on to represent the country in major youth tournaments. Players like Imo Izika, Sudik Bukwola, Junior Ajay, Tijani Mohamed, Sudik Otanda, and many more. Over time, it has been perceived that footballers are street urchins who usually come from poor homes. But the president of the 36 Lion Football Club doesn't seem to agree to such a stereotype. He believes taking criminals off the street is a job solely made for law enforcement agencies and not football clubs. My name is Gafar Olawale Leamid, popularly known as Aji Gafar. Um, we are not getting boys off the street. Uh, we scout our players from schools and various academies across Nigeria. You know, yes, majority of them are from indigent backgrounds, but they are not on the streets. We are not miscreants or thugs. You know, getting boys away from crimes is the job of the IG, and I think he is doing a good job of that, if you ask me. The president of 36 Lion Football Club, like every other top player in the global community, do not seem to believe in chasing dreams, but rather in pursuing well cut out and intentional visions. We won't really call it a dream, you know, it's a vision. You know, it's not a dream. Uh, we hardly sleep, so we don't dream often. You know, so far, we're getting close. You know, our plan initially is to have a training facility for proper youth development within 25 years of our inception. And today we are five years early as we will celebrate our 20th anniversary, December 18, 2020, this year. Arena is a, a football vocational school with a total youth development facility where we groom young boys to become professional footballers and a certified skilled personnel upon graduation. Okay, this place um, is the mecca of talent in Nigeria. Down there on the, on the north side, you're seeing ahead, there's gonna be two FIFA C standard pitches. One will be AstroTurf, the one on the south side here, <clears throat> and the one on the north side, on the other side, will be natural grass. Here we'll have, um, we have two pavilions. One pavilion will be sitting here on the south side, the other pavilion will be sitting on the north side, overlooking both pitches. 2,000 uh, capacity each. So if we have a full house, we have 4,000 individuals or 4,000 spectators watching our boys play. The administrative block will be here on the right hand side as soon as you come in the arena. We also have a FIFA uh, a five aside standard pitch, which is going to be um, 44 by 22. Further down to the east side will be the hostel. Beside the hostel, uh, about 200 meters away, will be the canteen, you know, where our boys will dine. On the other side of the canteen will be the gym, you know. And then we have green areas going towards the pitch. Now, I was talking about the pavilion earlier. <clears throat> Underneath the pavilion, we'll have the workshops. The workshop 
will serve as a training center for our players to become a certified electrical engineer upon their graduation. Also, we have a dressmaking shop, you know, uh, uh, more like a screen printing, graphic design, you know, for them to have something that they can fall back to, you know, when they are ending their career as a footballer. You know, most footballers don't have nothing to fall back to because they, de they dedicate their life to the sport. They dedicate their life to the game. So what we are doing different is to make sure as we are grooming them, as we are training them, as they are playing, they also have uh, 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 some kind of skilled acquisition kind of knowledge to fall back to after football. Of scouts, the club is able to scout for players from all over the country and then made to go through a registration process. Registration takes place in January every year. Um, uh, we scout throughout the year, you know, scout anytime, any day, anywhere. But our official registration period is January, you know, and duration for training is six years. You are admitted, or you are in before your 14th birthday and you will graduate by the time you are 20. We have three categories. The U16, I'm sorry, the U14, the U16, the U18 and the Elite. So it's four categories all together. So at the time or each time or every time we will have minimum 120 players in the Lions Arena. Getting the players in shape and showing the hacking and responsibility of their upkeep takes a whole lot of financial commitment that runs into millions of naira per annum. Uh, it would cost an estimate of 4 million naira per player per year, all things being equal. And our sustenance plan right now is to get monthly grants from any club anywhere in the world. We, in return, will serve as an incubator for such club by signing an exclusivity, meaning exclu exclusive partnership with them. So we sign with them, we supply them players uh, annually. With the amount of resources poured into this vision, one can be sure that 36 Lion does not play small. They have taken on the sacred duty of grooming players not only fit to carry the Nigerian national team, but also formidable forces that can take on the football world. The next step right now is to constantly feed national teams, the Nigerian national team, with talent from the Lions Arena. You know, help get Nigeria to the grand finale of the 2026 World Cup. You know, then build a proper stadium of 25,000 capacity within this community. You know, we must be able to make 25 million Naira in gate tickets every other weekend. And then, the other benefit for proper football club, like gate tickets, I mean like uh, TV rights, you know, uh, 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 selling of uh, uh, merchandising, you know, so on and so forth, will follow suit. But then, with such a great vision, comes even a greater responsibility. It might seem overwhelming at first, but then success is inevitable. Uh, the government, <laughs> uh, the government has done a lot already. You know, the local government, the state government, the federal government, they've, they've done a lot as far as, our, as far as we're concerned already. Our players are citizens of Nigeria. You know, what we need to do is improve in all our programs get positive results always. So imagine the impact in the country when 30 young adults graduate from the Lions Arena every year. Government will seek our partnership 
private individuals, you know, corporate uh, uh, companies who seek our partnership is a guarantee. You know, we can't fail, but the improvement must start from us, and then government will come knocking. Government will come knocking.